Hey, Matt Scratch here, and uh, today we're going to do kind of a cool little um, welding project because I felt like doing some welding, and uh, I've already started it. It's uh, just an old flex plate off my uh, little neon, actually, um, off my old neon, and I shouldn't need it, so I'm going to make a uh, shop sign. I'll get it says Matt Scratch, and so uh, I cleaned it first with uh, brake clean, sprayed it down to get any grease off, and then. Uh, I'm just uh, polishing it up with my um, my tool here, my ultimate metal working tool I made out of a uh, wood router, so you can uh, find the video on that if you have more interest. But I'm using a uh, um, stripping wheel, like a fiber wheel, to polish this up uh, so it won't have deep scrapes or anything. It'll be more or less just shiny and a nice clean surface to weld on. So uh, let's, let's get started here with that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, so I'm going to just uh, get set up here and get the welder going, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I just actually uh, am going to show you first, uh, I write on what I want with the Sharpie, and you got to kind of plan that out, do some practice on a, on a piece of paper or whatever if you need to, and then kind of get a judgment of the size. I'm going to just try and wing it here and see if I can get it. So, and I got to, you know, kind of mind where these holes are. Actually, I'm just noticing that seems like the wide gap. So, see, so yeah, you got to really plan where it's going to go according to what obstacles you got to work around. And I mean, you can get as fancy as you want, but remember you have to weld over it, so kind of bear that in mind. I'm better at welding than I am at writing, so bear with me here. Anyways, you just write it on with a Sharpie, whatever you want, and uh, once you have it how you want it, you can of course use uh, some paint thinner or whatever to wipe off the Sharpie if you're not happy with how it's looking. Then you uh, you just weld on it and uh, it won't affect the weld or anything like that. So there we go, we got mats so far and I don't, I'm so slow at this I think I'm going to kill the camera and finish the writing. Matt's garage here and here's what I've uh, come up with for a design. Pretty happy with that and I, I put that squiggly line down there. Really no meaning to it just to fill in the area. And um, so we're going to get started with the welding. And I'm just, uh, I've got a scrap of metal here so that I can just lay it down almost flat on the table. That just makes it a little more comfortable to work with. I've also got an air gun handy in case things get hot and start to bend around. I can cool it off and prevent that and also keep it cool because the Sharpie will disappear if it gets too hot. It will start to just evaporate off of there. So that could be annoying. You might have to cool the piece off and rewrite what you had on there. So uh, yeah, and then uh, 
As far as welding it, um, basically bump up your wire speed maybe a little, or try that. Do a couple test pieces first, of course. And what you want to do is, is uh, like a, a stitch, like this, a straight drag, but kind of go like that. And just keep piling on the end of that so that you get a tall, you know, skinny bead. You're not going for strength, you're going for appearance here, so. So I'll just get started. Make sure that doesn't happen. You don't want any tangles when you're trying to uh, move it. So we've got the M in there and I got a little shaky right there and it went a little squiggly but I'm still pretty pleased with that. So I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I'm going to do the uh, rest on camera to show you. And just one other thing, if you don't have uh, compressed air handy, you can certainly uh, cool this down with uh, a wet uh, rag and just uh, clench it a little like that. pretty good but I got a little jiggly in the middle of that one so that's something you, you want to keep the piece comfortable so that you're not jumping around and uh, one other tip is like uh, making this A and stuff you want to come up and down and then go back up right away and add your cross before that area is cooled um, so that it melts in and you kind of want to plan things like that so that they're kind of uh, melting into the uh, hot weld. Um. in there. Down. 
I'm a little off on my spacing there. My A is a little tight to the R, but uh, still pretty happy with that. It's, uh, it's art. It's not meant to be perfect, so or at least that's my excuse. So if you like all the cool uh, coloring, you can leave it just like that, which I think will be what I do. Or if you want to paint it or something, you can wire wheel it, or you could polish it up and clear coat it if you want that look. There's a, a few different ways you could go here, but uh, I think you can build some really cool stuff just writing with your welder, so learn how. It's a lot of fun. Okay, YouTube, well, I'm always thinking of ways of making whatever project I'm working on even better. And uh, I went to hang this on the front door, and I was just going to use some regular old deck screws, and then I thought, nah, that's going to look ugly, and the holes are too big, so I'd have to put washers on them, and it, it just it would ruin the whole look of the thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some studs on the back of it, drill holes through my door and put nuts on the back side and that way it's uh, theft proof as well. Not that I think anyone will want the sign that says Matt Scratch, but uh, that's what we're going to do. So because I like the cool discoloration, I'm going to weld this right on the back side of uh, letter so I'm not affecting my discoloration too much on the uh, outside, if you get what I mean. I don't want to create a blue spot randomly where there's no wealth, so...
cool it so it doesn't Yep, so you can't even really notice that on the front side, look at that, got a nice mounting stud. So we don't want it to flap in the wind, so we're going to put two. These are a little overkill, but this is the size of all thread I happen to have laying around, so this is what we're using. Probably right there, it's going to work. saw me jump a little there, I had a hot ember go right through my pants there, so, uh, but I don't really believe in uh, welding clothes too much and it's pretty hot out today, so uh, I can handle a couple burns. There we go. Oh, and we're going to cool that so it doesn't just color. One thing I should, uh, it's a good time to mention is uh, like this that I weld it on here, this is plated. There's a zinc plating on here. So uh, you should have uh, good ventilation when you're welding that stuff and you should have a, a dust mask or even a respirator on because that stuff's pretty nasty, any kind of plating uh, because it was such a small amount I didn't worry about it too much. Um, and if if you can grind the plating off even better, that'll help too. So anyways, there's the sign, and uh, I'm going to go hang it on the front of the building now. So uh, when I get that done, I'll show you that quickly. Okay, so we're, there we go. It's all mounted up on the wall. Pretty happy with how it looks.